Hi, my name is Christian Foster with Classic City Bakeries out of Athens, Georgia. Here today in the sprawling Louisville warehouse of Creation Gardens. We are a vendor here um, on tour today, and I brought a couple products with me just to show. Um, these are four stock products that we have here at the Louisville location, uh, and they're also distributed throughout Creation Gardens um, territories. Okay, so to get things started, we've got the Campo Hoagie here. This is a six-inch sliced product. It's got a real open cell structure. It's got a nice crust development on the outside. It's got a single score running down the center. Um, the product is very soft and supple on the inside. But once again, due to that crust development that we have on the outside, it's got a real nice chew and a nice what we call pull to it. Uh, it's a great sandwich bread. Second on the list is our sesame hamburger bun. This is an artisan product. Uh, a lot of handwork involved here. It's not coming off an automated line. It's actually hand-shaped. Once again, real soft to the touch on the inside. Uh, it's got a nice bit of crust on the outside, um, but certainly not too tough, and this goes well with any kind of prime burger um, or sandwich of your choice. Then stepping over to one of our more unique products, this is our rosemary focaccia pull-apart. Uh, we use a focaccia dough. There are actually 11 pieces to this product here, and it snaps apart with great ease. Once again, it's got that nice open cell structure. It's quite soft on the inside. This product has rosemary in it, um, as well as some other herbs. It does really well in um, Mediterranean applications, uh, Italian restaurants, and a handful of other options. Um, once again, as you see, it really comes apart with ease. It does well in a bread basket. Um, also seen people use this as a crouton, a large crouton. You can brush over the exterior of the product with olive oil, sprinkle on some sea salt or herbs of your choice. Uh, once again, really unique, fun product. Um, can also be sliced horizontally. We won't do that, but you can do it in the kitchen. And uh, made into sandwich breads. So you get a nice buffalo mozzarella, some tomato and basil, and you're good to go there. And finally, we have our farmhouse assortment. We've got three different flavor profiles here in the farmhouse. We've got our marble rye, which is very aromatic, has a really nice flavor to it, comes without seeds. Slice down the center here so you can get a sense of what you're looking at. You can see that nice marbleization in there and on the exterior. The Campo, this is a ciabatta style product. Got a nice chew to the outside, real soft on the inside. Once again, a bit of an open cell structure there. And then a bit of a tighter cell structure on our king's roll, which is similar to a bishop's roll. It's got two scissor cuts to the top. Gives it these nice little four little peaks. And there you go. There's that tighter cell structure that we were speaking about. So these are the four products that we have presently in stock with Creation Gardens. We hope to grow the product mix. Um, and I guess before I bow out, one thing I will explain with the farmhouse assortment is it comes packed uh, in a very unique way. This is an ovenable bag, oven-safe film. You put this bag directly onto a sheet pan into a 350-degree oven for about five to six minutes, and voila, you've got dinner rolls that are ready to serve. All of our products come in frozen, so you'd allow this product and any of the others to slack out for about 30 minutes or an hour if you left it inside the box. And then uh, really just five, six, seven minutes um, for the entire product range in a 350 degree oven, and you're good to go. You're serving fresh bread at that point uh, because everything is uh, par-baked. So once again, here on the ovenable bag, just to run through a few benefits, um, with the bag, you get uh, a softer product. 
if you bake the product inside the bag. If you get rid of this bag and just put the rolls directly on a sheet pan, you're going to get a nicer crust development. Um, so if you want that crusty bread, just simply get rid of the bag. If you want a softer product, go ahead and load your ovens with the rolls in the bags themselves. This bag can also be put into a warming drawer or a hot box. It does really well in production settings um, because your kitchen staff knows that you've got 15 rolls to a bag. They're already pre-mixed, unlike most assortments where you get a straight pack of one product, a straight pack of another, and then a straight pack of a third or fourth, and then you actually have to go in there, open each bag, and mix the product by hand. Uh, this way it's already done for you. Um, so once again, a real labor and waste saver in the kitchen. And uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs>